Country star Ashley Monroe is enjoying being back on the road again after a four-year break. The Tennessee native 38 is currently enjoying a UK tour with fellow country music icons and pals Little Big Town. But things could have been so much different. In 2021, Ashley revealed she had been diagnosed with blood cancer following routine lab work. After it was discovered she was suffering from anemia, doctors decided to do a bone marrow biopsy on her after her red blood count kept falling. It was found she had Waldenstrom microglobulinemia, a type of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Thankfully, though, she remains in remission and is ready to get back to entertaining her fans. Speaking exclusively to the Mirror after landing in the UK earlier in the week, Ashley said, Everything looks like I'm still in complete remission, so I'm thankful for that. She added, I haven't really been behind a mic and on a stage singing for a while. COVID happened in 2020. Then right after the pandemic, I had cancer in 2021 and I've just missed singing to people and connecting. I just feel like I always connect with audience over here in the UK extra special. So this means so much to me to get out all this emotion that's been pinned up for so many years. Four years, I guess. Following on from her recent release of hit tune Hot Rod Pipe Dream, Ashley went on to reveal she has much more in the locker, both as a solo artist and as part of her band Pistol Annie's. We, the band, have a lot of songs that we've written in the past few years that no one's heard, so I'm hopeful that we can, when the time's right, come back together and make something. Performing with the band, it's otherworldly, honestly, when all three of us sing at once, every single time I get shivers. She also explained she was looking at the bigger picture of life more now as she moves forward with her career. I am kind of looking back at all the chapters of my life. And so this new record I've been working on for like a year and a half, honestly, we went back to songs that I've known and loved throughout my whole life. We covered some of those, as well as songs that I sang from other songwriter friends of mine in town that I didn't write. You know, I'm kind of just going back and saying that this new record feels like a homecoming of the soul. It's like a quilt of pieces and stories from my life. 